Hey guys, how you doing? So you go on a diet and you expect the people around you to support your weight loss goals, to support you in everything you're doing. However, more often than not, the people around you end up sabotaging your results. And in this video, I'd just like to explain why that is. So when the people around you start to sabotage your weight loss results, it's usually down to two different things. The feeling of inferiority and the feeling of fear. So I just like to explain these two things and how it makes people do things which are negative. Sometimes it's consciously, but quite often it's unconsciously without realising it. So um, yeah, I just like to explain those things. So first of all, people don't like to feel inferior. It's something psychological built into us. So there was a study done where people were offered... Um, two salaries. So first of all, they were offered £50,000 if their friends or people around them got £25,000 as a salary, or £100,000 if their friends and people around them got 200000 Even though the second salary was double what the original one was, more people went for the 50000 over the hundred because the others would be getting less than them. So they avoided feeling inferior by choosing, or basically, um, something that was worse off for them. So this is a reason why people might discourage you from trying to lose weight. So if you did lose weight, there's two things that could happen. They could either um, lose weight as well to um, not feel inferior to you, or the easier way, just make you not lose weight so they don't have to do anything basically um, and that's often what happens because it's the easiest route we try and take the easiest route in life um, and like I said it's not always conscious quite often it's a subconscious thing because this inferiority complex is built into us through our own human psychology and another reason might be that if you lose weight and they're left as the overweight one in your friend group then they're going to be singled out as the fat one and there's the fear of just yeah being that it's the, a negative thing. So people are going to try and avoid that. So they might try and sabotage your weight loss progress because of this. Another reason might be that they fear that you're going to fail. They may have failed in the past. So they're just trying to protect you of what they think might happen. So especially with close family members that really love you, that really um, want to protect you, They might try and sabotage your results because they don't want you to feel failure. They don't want you to fail. They want you to be as you are now, as they see you now. They might not see underneath how you're feeling about your weight. And they're trying to protect you from feeling that failure because, like I said, they may have failed or seen people fail in the past and see how it has affected them. Now, it's quite common as well that when you go on a diet, you start to avoid situations where there's going to be a lot of food or things that will affect your weight loss. So your friends will start to notice this, that start to notice you're avoiding certain situations, starting to go out less, and they might start to call you boring. But the real reason is that they're lonely and they don't want you to change. They don't want you to stop being the person you are going out. And um, you, you can often be the person that gives them certain feelings and makes them happy. So when you disappear from certain social situations they can start feeling um, lonely, like I said, and it's the fear of losing you. And this fear of losing you goes deeper, so especially with partners, relationships. If you're the one in the relationship that's losing weight, the other person that isn't, if they're overweight, can then feel that maybe they will lose you. If you lose weight, you'll become a different person and you won't love them anymore. You will look for someone that's similar to you, someone who's um, lost weight. So they might fear that if you do well, then they're not going to be adequate enough for you. So they're going to do anything they can to try and uh, persuade you not to lose that weight. So that's quite often why your partner might not be so supportive in your weight loss goal. So those are some reasons why the people around you might try and sabotage your weight loss goals. And it's really important just to be honest and open with everyone and let them know why you're really doing it, just to make them really understand. And try and stop them from doing these things 
to sabotage you. Obviously, you can look at the root causes, the inferiority and the fear. Make them feel good about themselves. Make them uh, reassure them that they're not going to lose you, things like that, because then you'll start solving the real problems behind the sabotage. Obviously, the inferiority is a more difficult one because it's an inbuilt thing. But just making people aware why you're doing it for yourself, why it's important for you, and why it's going to make you happy. And these can often um, solve the problem and overcome these people that are sabotaging your results. And then help you be happier by getting the results you want. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and comment as always, and I'll see you in the next one.